Well, Skylines were built in Colombia as a transportation system. Originally, the, you know, when you have this vertical city, you need some way to get uh, you know, product from one place to another. But what started happening along the way is, first this was kids, because it's always kids, right? Started figuring out a way to get the, get these sky hooks that they could connect to the lines and sort of get from one place to the city and do these acrobatic feats on them. But as the situation in Colombia started devolving and the place got more violent and normal routes of transportation started getting disrupted, and people started using the skylines to get around. People, the, the Vox Populi and the um, founders started using it for in combat situations. And all of a sudden, the requirement for guys who knew their way around a skyline and who could, could, could fight effectively on the skylines became way more important. And um, by the time Booker gets to, um, to Columbia, the skylines have a broad range of usage, and there's, you can still see, you'll see in the demo, cargo being moved around on those things, and that creates even a more hazardous situation. But there's also people using it um, for all kinds of purposes, including, um, and especially combat. One of the, my big frustrations in working on Bioshock 1 is we had the ocean, but it was really just a piece of art. We never really dealt with, you know, what it was like to fight at the bottom of the ocean in, in any meaningful way. Um, and in, in Infinite, you know, we wanted you to be in the sky. We wanted the visuals, obviously, that, which I think are really great. But we also wanted vertical combat. And we played around with lots of ideas for, like, using flight and stuff like that for a while. But in the end of the day, you know, to me, the experience of being on a plane versus the experience of being on a roller coaster is a very different experience. For me, it's always been about wooden roller coasters. I've never been as much a fan of the steel ones. And that sort of clackety-clack feeling of, you know, that going up to the top of a hill and then going over and that amazing feeling you have. And I really want to put that in a game. I want to get that feeling in the game. And then, of course, being a video game, I want to enhance that with combat. I want to be on one of those wood, old wooden roller coasters that's stacked upon another wooden roller coaster in this city and jumping from one to the other with weapons, with, you know, with people shooting at me. I just wanted to get that feeling. And, you know, this isn't a monorail. This isn't a people mover. This is something that is incredibly vertical. It's incredibly open-ended. And that's what Bioshock games are about. They're about giving the player a ton of tools and a ton of options and just letting them go to town. The skyline, follow me. To tell you the truth, it took a long time to get it right, but I think we're really at the stage now where it feels just great. Um, and it looks awesome and it, and it feels awesome. And it's one of, it's one of our biggest challenges on Infinite. And I, I think we're really getting there.